Happy snow day. Uh, I was a little bored, so I figured I'd go ahead and do an example for you and post it on the website. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the empirical formula of a compound. We'll calculate the empirical formula of a compound containing 43.64% phosphorus and 56.36% oxygen. Our first step is to convert percent to grams. So that's easy. All we do is rewrite the uh, numbers without percent, and we stick in grams. So let's go ahead and do that. 43.64% uh, becomes grams of phosphorus, and 56.36% becomes grams of oxygen. The second step is to convert grams to moles, what we'll need to do is look up our molar masses on the periodic table. So let's go ahead and get ready to do that. We know that one mole will go on the top of each of these, and then grams will go on the bottom, and those grams we will look up on the periodic table. So for phosphorus, phosphorus, which is right here, phosphorus is 30.97. So let's go back to our problem here. This is 30.97 grams of phosphorus. And then oxygen, uh, we've used this enough that we know it's 16.00 grams of oxygen. So now we can go ahead and grab a calculator and figure this up. And what we'll do is take 43. Oops, let's turn it on first. Take 43.64 divided by 30.97, and we get 1.409. One point four zero nine. We've got to watch our sig figs here. Moles of phosphorus, and then let's do the same thing for oxygen. Fifty six point three six divided by sixteen point zero zero, and we get three. Oops, forgot to get all that. Uh, 3.5 uh, 3. 3.5 Again, watching our sig figs, moles of oxygen. The next thing we do is divide by the smallest. So of our smallest, uh, we've got a choice of 1.409 or 3.5. 1.409 is clearly the smallest. So what we'll do is we will divide these by 1.409, which is going to give us 1. And 1.409, let's go ahead and grab our calculator again. So it's uh, 3.523 divided by one. Point four, whoops, four oh nine, and we get two point five zero zero. Again, watching our sig figs, two point five zero zero. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and write. empirical formula, keeping in mind that these two guys become our subscripts. Subscripts for the empirical formula. So what we get is we get P O 2.5. Now keep in mind that the definition of empirical formula is the lowest whole number ratio 
we don't have whole numbers here. We've got two and a half. In order to get rid of that half, we do that fifth step, which is um, multiply by a number to get rid of decimals. I'm going to move that over so it's not in the way there. So we get P02.5. So in order to get rid of that decimal, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 2, because if we multiply 1 half by 2, we're going to get that whole number. We're going to get rid of that decimal. So there we go. So our empirical formula becomes P2, O5. And there's our answer. Again, those five steps. And it will take us to our answer. Step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. Again, step five is optional. We may not need it.